Hello YouTube, in this video I am going to show you the easiest method to root your OnePlus 3. So this is based on one XDA developer page and this is the page. I will provide this link in the description. And uh, this page is maintained by the this the XDA developer. So this is a toolkit, all in one toolkit. First of all go and download this toolkit. Down below you can find the link. Here is the download link. So go to this link. From there, here is the tool all in one. So you can download from here. As well as you need to download one more file, which is a super SU file, which is used to root the device. So I'll provide that link also. So download this super SU, and here is the super SU link here. So go to this link and then download this super SU from here. So here you can see I've downloaded both the files. This is the tool and this is the super SU file. First of all, this is a zip file tool so I'll be uh, extracting this tool to a folder so it's extracted I'll go and open that one after that you need to open this tool all in one and then click run so th that tool will open and uh, next uh, first thing you need to do is install the driver from here so it's, it will start downloading the driver and then install it I've already installed the driver so I'll be getting error so first go and install the driver after that there are something you need to do in on your phone so go to settings menu about phone go to build number and tap it seven times so you will see this uh, this one you are now developer message so go back and then here you can see the developer options so go go to develop, develop options and you need to turn on three settings three settings here and here first one is OEM unlocking do the OEM unlocking after that you need to turn on advanced reboot after that you need to turn on USB debugging also so these three options you need to turn on so after that uh, press volume key press and hold volume key and click on re reboot and then here choose the bootloader so the phone will reboot to bootloader so once it is loaded into fast boot mode you can see this is the fast boot mode and here you can see device status is locked because the bootloader is locked so now we are going to unlock the bootloader so go and connect your phone with the PC after that go back to the tool again and here you will see an option called verify if the device is recognized click on that one so you can see this kind of uh, fast boot device serial number uh, only if you see any serial number here then only you can proceed if it's not visible which means some issues with the driver installation so you need to go back install the driver connect your phone again so here it is listing so it's fine for me click close next what I'll do I will unlock the bootloader by clicking here so unlock it then on phone I can see a dialog which is showing whether I need to unlock the bootloader using the volume down key select yes and then press power button to do the unlocking so actually it's unlock the bootloader remember this will wipe all your information all your data from the phone so before doing this make sure you are backing up everything so I can use volume key to choose between restart recovery fast boot everything so I'll go back to fast boot again click on select the volume key to go back to fast boot so fast boot is loaded and here you can see device status is unlocked uh, here also you can check verify if the bootloader is unlocked if you click here you can see device unlocked true which means device is unlocked now next step next step we need to download and flash the TWRP recovery so here is an option called TWRP recovery so I'll choose this one and reboot recovery from here as well as I'll click flash TWRP recovery so I'll choose the version listed here that is OP3 for the OnePlus 3 and click flash so it will start downloading the TWRP recovery from their site and then I'll flash it and then we'll reboot to TWRP recovery 
as it's listed here flash completed click ok after that press and hold power button for like 10 seconds so the phone will uh, reboot choose volume key and then you can go to recovery from here So here you can see it will load the TWD app recovery here and then you better click on keep read only so that you will get OTA updates later for your Oxynoise. So it's better keep read only and then it is the TWD app recovery. So next we will copy that super SU file to my phone and then flash it through TWD app. So I will do a reboot system. So I'll do the setup. So the ROM is loaded. Now I'll go to settings menu again and then go to about phone, click on data or build number for seven times, go back to developer options, make sure all these options are on, OEM unlocking is on, advanced reboot you need to turn on and then USB debugging also you need to turn on. Okay. So after that allow this uh, computer and then after that I click on this one charging change it to file transfer now I will go back and copy the beta super su file and then copy to my phone I will go to this one in general storage I will paste it here so the file is pasted now I will reboot my phone to recovery mode press here volume uh, press power button to make it fast so it's loading to TWA mode from here click on install and then if you scroll down you can see the file just copy that is beta super issue select that file and then flash it So it's flashing the super su file after that we can reboot the system reboot system so we, this system will reboot and click continue boot to make it fast once the system is rebooted the phone will be rooted so system is booted now so we go to application menu there you can find an application called super su which means you are phone is rooted so this is how you can root your phone very easily i hope you enjoyed this video thanks for watching please subscribe for more